ladies and gentlemen of the media, and welcome to the press center of the Ministry of Information for our Meet the Press series, the Ministers Meet the Press series. I learned in um, is it, uh, Rwanda or something, the president has cut down the number of churches to bring sanity into the system. And I don't know what the government is doing. Must we leave it as it is? Because it's creating a lot of uh, discomfort for some of us. I'm not saying that somebody should do what you've got, but I think that the vulnerabilization and then some kind of thing that they do uh, in their churches, especially one-man churches, is a cause for concern. Then my second question, Honorable Minister, I think the president or somebody announced that they were going to um, ask the churches to pay taxes in this country uh, from their proceeds. I don't know whether you share that view and what has happened to that um, proposition, if I may ask you. Thank you. Take, for example, the Catholic Secretariat, the Christian Council of Ghana, the Pentecostal and Charismatic uh, Council, Independent Council of Churches. These are bodies that are well established and are functioning very well. And therefore, all churches who want to be regulated and want to follow a certain way of worship must register with these councils. And from what I have seen is that all those churches who fall under, for example, Christian Council are able to regulate themselves and have norms and values of what they are supposed to do. And therefore, what we have to do now is to ensure that every church in this country falls under one of these well-established councils. If it doesn't happen like that, then of course we'll look out for them. So what we're doing now is to liaise with the MMDCs because they are the ones who register the churches in their municipalities and district assemblies. So we liaise with them so that we'll be able to know all those churches who uh, don't fall under any of these already existing councils, and then we deal with them. And also, what we'll be doing is that once the national policy on religion comes, and then i go back to the last question, the timeline, is that we are almost ready uh, to present the national policy on religion to cabinet. I think that uh, in the next, uh, uh, the last but one cabinet meeting, this policy will be presented and then we'll see our way forward. So with the presentation of the national policy on religion, then of course every church will have to comply and ensure that they live up to expectation. Now, somebody also mentioned about churches paying taxes. I want to say it clearly here that government has not come out with anything concerning churches to pay taxes. Rather, what we intend doing is to set up what you call a charity commission, a charity commission whereby all churches will be registered so that at the end of the year, the commission will see to the work of the churches and see how they have used their resources in the betterment of their people. So a charity commission is the option and not taxes for now.